Ladies and gentlemen, Daniel Nasser Mirza here inside MTK Strong MMA in Dubai with me, the one and the only Kratos returning hero to on the mic. And I say hero because this man was cornering Team Pakistan at the IMF World Championships just now. The most important first question, you know what it is. How are you feeling, man? How are you doing? Always feeling great, man. Always feeling great. It's always amazing. Always living the dream. Always living the life. That's what's up. That's what's up. Now, we're here, of course, uh, on a business trip, so to speak. Got some work done in Abu Dhabi. First and most important thing that I want to ask you is how do you feel about the performance of the team, of course, and how do you think the team fared and the fighters fared uh, at the World Championships? First off, uh, big shout out and big kudos to uh, Airy. Big kudos and shout out to Pak MMA Federation and every single person who contributed towards this competition for Team Pakistan. Uh, secondly, uh, of course, the Sham did a phenomenal job. Uh, with I, I mean, only ten days and everyone was everyone was feeling comfortable. Everyone was feeling like a team. Uh, you know, it's it's just that. We always say one thing over and over again that, you know, people take sides of each other. But this, this, this very team proved that every single participant from, of, 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 this, of this tournament was from different teams, you know. Uh, and surprisingly, there was none from Team Fight Fortress. So no one can now say that, oh, Team Fight Fortress, wale to apne fighters ko aage karte hai, or it's, you know, some kind of lobbying or whatever. Uh, this shows that, you know, we always work with people, that Pakistan is working for, uh, for, for people, the Pakistan MMA Federation is working for the people who actually excel in the sport, who are doing really good in MMA. Uh, having said that, the team was amazing. The team did a phenomenal job. They had, the performance was outstanding. I mean, doesn't matter what the result was. At least we scored a bronze medal first time in history. A team from Pakistan went and participated in the IMF, and uh, we scored a bronze medal. Congratulations to uh, Ismail on amazing fights. Uh, he was phenomenal through and through. Um, he, he had to fight the toughest of the fights. You know, he had the toughest division, the most stacked division, the toughest fights in the division. He had to go through those, and he killed them all. Uh, secondly, every single person, Taimur, Iman, uh, Zulkarnan, and even Abu Bakr, everyone showed heart. They showed that, you know, they, they showed the spirit of mixed martial arts, Pakistani mixed martial arts, and they showed that we are, we're going to, inshallah, win, if not one, at least two, three goal, goals, inshallah, next time. Inshallah. And, you know, like, I want to add to this uh, thing you were saying earlier, at Coach Atishan. Sham Kareem, of course, uh, yourself, TFF fraternity, well represented, and my boy Heather Furman, of course, assistant coach uh, back at Brave Gym as well. The whole point of this entire camp, I think, was just to get together people from different gyms and, uh, you know, different areas of Pak and, and prove to ourselves that we can work together and more importantly, prove to the world that we're here to fight. We're no exactly. bums. Um, how was the feeling and how was the process for you going through the entire week when it comes to, of course, just the basic things like getting up, making weight, making sure the fighters are there, making sure the fighters are good, making sure the fighters are there. Man. For you, you know, personally, what was this experience like and do you feel like this has contributed to your game? Uh, of course, it, you know, it's, it's discipline. Um, I saw the guys get disciplined. I've, I haven't fought in almost a year. Uh, and um, seeing the guys waking up at 6 a.m., checking weight, uh, making weight in that half an hour window, 6.30, the bus leaves, 7 to 8 a.m., we make weight. Every single day, the process repeats itself. And um, we, I, I, it was just overwhelming to, you know, to be in their corner for the first time. I had guys, like I said, none of, none of the guys, because I've always been in the corner of my own, like my own teammates, but this time it was Team Pakistan, so this was, a, you know, we had to look at the bigger picture. And um, the way things were, the way, the, the way things were operated smoothly, uh, especially from our team, because none of them were being irresponsible. It's, it's a big thing. When you're a fighter, I know you have to, oh, I'm like a fighter, I'm a treatment, this treatment, this is the mm -hmm. dilemma. Uh, in, in Pakistan especially, but these fighters were so professional, they would wake up on time, they, were, they knew that what they were there for, and they were, they were there for work, and they did show the work. Uh, every single day, whenever we would make weight, we never missed weight. A lot of teams were overweight and they had to cut weight. We made sure that, you know, the, the nutrition was on point, the, the weights were on point, everything was on point, the game, plan, game plans were on point, every single thing was good. Uh, it was just that, the first time ever when a team goes to compete somewhere, they participate in an event, things happen, things like these happen, and it's a huge deal for us. I mean, there, we saw a lot of teams who uh, didn't even score medals, you know, not a single medal, and this was not their first time, and 
first time we we go as a team first time and we score a medal so it was it was all very inspiring the entire event was inspiring yeah no i, I completely agree with you and I, there's a lot of firsts and a lot of history first ever well we start with this it's the first round we ever won in the imf so we've sent fighters before not to the federation not as a team but the first time we ever scored a round in ismail's yeah. first fight by the end of that fight that was our first win first. the next fight zulkarnain got us our first tko exactly. then we went on to our second victory third and ismail went on to get our first medal this is all seminal stuff and i say seminal because I feel like this is advancing the future uh, for Pakistani amateur MMA. What do you want to see? Uh, and of course, it's a very long discussion we can have about what, what needs to change. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot of work we're doing when we're yeah. going back as well. Shout out, by the way, Omar Bhai is right there. You want to you wanna show Omar Bhai? What's up? <laughs> that's, the man, that, that, that's the man who's uh, put all of this together, the glue that holds it together. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, it's very important to kind of understand uh, and give due where it's due. And, uh, but what, what, what is the one major thing that you want to make sure that you see uh, when you go back when it comes to amateur MMA, when it comes to fighters wanting to take IMF more seriously? Uh, professionalism. You know, that's the one thing that in Pakistan specifically we lack and we need to work on a lot, lot, lot of professionalism, which includes discipline, their hard work, every single thing, the sacrifices that they make. It, I mean, it, it's, it's part of your professionalism that you make. You आप सेक्रीफाइस करते हो किसी चीज़ को आप कहते हो मैं फ़ाइटर हूँ मैंने ये छोड़ दिया वो छोड़ दिया आपकी जर्नी है ठीक है मैंने भी बहुत सेक्रीफाइस किए लेकिन मैं आज तक किसी को नहीं बोला कि यार मैंने सेक्रीफाइस किए कोई मुझे जो है ना प्लेट में रख के जो है ना सब कुछ दे दे सो यू वर्क हार्ड यू वर्क हार्ड यू विल यू विल यू विल गेट देर एंड द ओनली थिंग अगेन इट्स इस प्रोफेशनलिज्म इन द इन द पीपल दैट नीड्स टू बी आई से इंग्रेवड इन देर हेड्स एंड एंड दिस इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल दिस कलेक्टिव रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी I I I personally told uh Ismail and uh, like especially told Ismail in specific that he needs to he needs to you know go to his gym and 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 give the message like whatever we've learned here he needs to give that message because a lot of people will look up to him now a lot of kids not only in his gym but that's where he'll start from uh but outside his his gym a lot of gyms they they look up to him they will look up to him and they do look up to him they did they do and they will look up to him yes, because <laughs> because the guy want just want a medal you know uh and and he he is the bronze medalist not of Not, not of a small competition. This, this was the world championship. The Olympics of MMA. Exactly. And, and the message was that he should, you know, preach the same, exact same things that he's learned here to the up and coming, you know, in his gym, in his surroundings, every single person, because that's his job. We can't, we can't just do, uh, we, can't, we, can't, we can't go around and preach to every single person because we never know who's going to listen to us. We, by the way, not a lot of people listen to me. <laughs> So, uh, no, they do. <laughs> j- j- jokes apart, it's just that, you know, it's, it's every single fighter who was here, their duty and their job, uh, their obligation actually to go back wherever they came from and, and preach the exact same thing and give other fighters hope and motivation because this is a huge platform, huge, huge, huge platform. Yeah, I completely agree and I feel like this is the trickle down effect that we're kind of starting. Uh, we're going to go back from a management perspective. You've learned so much from her and myself. Uh, just from the aspect of watching the entire tournament and seeing the teams and seeing the fighters from other teams and how impressive they are, what their skill sets are. This is stuff we're going to be taking back and of course improving on. I'm very positive and hopeful for Pakistani MMA moving forward, especially after this tournament. Brother Halumi, thank you so much for the time. I just want to ask you, woo, somebody's starting a chopper outside the gym. That's, that's loud. I just want to ask you, um, for all the beautiful people watching on the mic at home right now, uh, what message would you want to give them? Is there, is there somebody, and of course this is the last segment, the guest segment, yeah. is there somebody you want to shout out? Is there somebody who owes you money? Anybody you want to, you know, uh, call out right now here right on the spot? Everybody, I'm ah, coming for every... Oh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, it's just that... Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, It's plain and simple, man. Um, we, everybody saw that skill-wise... We are not lagging behind. You know, knowledge-wise, we're not lagging behind. We have the heart. We have the knowledge. The only thing that we lack is the discipline. Get on the mat. Put in the work. Put in the hours. Put in the minutes. Put in the seconds. Every single round counts. I say this every single time. Every single round counts. You know, the, the seconds that you put in the gym, they're the ones. Those seconds will give you back. They will pay you back when you're in the cage, when you're in the ring, when you're fighting. Um, and especially this thing I told Ismail as well. When you... When, when you fight and win, you have to fight for yourself because when you fight and win, you fight and win and Pakistan fights and wins. Yeah. When you lose, only you lose. So keep this thing in mind. Do things for yourself. Be professional and try to reach the max heights because there is, you know, they say sky is the limit, but there is no sky. So yeah. where's the limit? There is no limit. Yeah. Amen. And uh, lots of wisdom, lots of knowledge. My brother, thank you so much for the time. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned to On The Mic, the things I always say to you on the end of the podcast. And that is, keep it tight.